Hello everyone. Hey guys, this is Samir Sardana. So today is the 18th session that we are taking, and this is arithmetic without formulas, profit and loss part three. So today we will be doing the third session of profit and loss. So welcome guys. Good evening. Okay, so now before we start the session, uh, so here is my profile of Anak Academy. Where you can access An Academy uh, on An Academy Learning App, you can access 750 plus video lessons, which are for CAD exam preparation. So you just have to download the An Academy Learning App. You can access all of these video lessons on my profile on An Academy, and we have also started the live special classes on An Academy, where we are taking 30 hours of live special classes on daily basis. So you can subscribe yourself for these courses and can have unlimited access of all the courses that we are launching in every month. <clears throat> so let's wait for a minute to other students to join and then we will start the session. So let's uh, discuss this question till then other students will also join. So attempt this question and then we will discuss the solution of this question. This is exactly on the same concept that we discussed yesterday. So do this question and comment your answers. <clears throat> yeah, the question is the shopkeeper purchases his goods from a dealer whose balance reads 1200 gram for 1000 grams. The shopkeeper sells his good, goods after making up the prices by 30%. Find his overall profit or loss percentage. <clears throat> so solve this question with the method that we have discussed yesterday. You can solve it in one single line. So there are multiple methods to solve this question and we will discuss both of these two methods. Use the fraction equivalent to solve this question. And then we will do this question with a normal method also. Attempt this question. Come on guys, what will be the answer of this question? A shopkeeper purchases his goods from a dealer whose balance reads 1200 gram for 1000 grams. And the shopkeeper sells his goods after marking up the prices by 30% find his overall profit or loss percentage. What will be the answer? Yes, good evening Ajaypal. Okay, so I have given the answer as 8.33% profit. Let's see. We'll discuss this question in a minute. Let other students also reply. See, one method of solving this question is that shopkeeper is purchasing from dealer whose balance reads 1200 grams for 1000 grams. That means he will pay for 1200 grams but his investment would be of but he the goods that he will be getting only of 1000 grams right so when the shopkeeper will sell the goods to the customer he will apply the markup of 30 percent so he will be getting the money of 1300 grams but actually his investment is of 1200 grams right because the dealer's balance reads 1200 gram for 1000 grams so 
he has paid for 1200 gram but the goods that he has received is only of 1000 grams and when he will apply the markup of 30 percent on 1000 grams he will receive the money from the customer of 1300 gram right is it clear to all of you so now his 1200 gram is his investment and the selling price that he is getting is finally of 1300 grams so 1200 gram ka usne investment kiya or finally 1300 grams ke product ka usko paisa mila so that means his profit is of 100 gram over an investment of 1200 gram so his profit percentage would be 1 by 12 and that in terms of percentage we know is 8.33 percent so this would be the right answer yes Ajaypal you have got it right so 8.33 percent is the right answer to this question okay so now can you also solve this question with the fractional method that we have discussed yesterday good evening Vekant yeah I will, I will definitely make the course on bank exams So can you answer this question in the concept of a fractional method? Now this is a normal method of solving it that first you find out the cost price and then the selling price and then the profit percentage. Can you also use the fractional method in, to find out the answer of this question? You can also use it. Let me explain you how. See when he is paying for 1200 grams but the money that he is getting is only of 1000 grams. Now this is a loss making event for the shopkeeper right? Because of this transaction, the shopkeeper will be having a loss. Now, we know that in case of loss, so whatever is the cost price for the shopkeeper, let's assume it to be C. And if he is having a loss of 200 gram over an investment of 1200 gram, that is a loss of 1 by 6. And in case of 1 by 6 loss, the selling price would be 5 by 6 of the cost price. So this would be the first fractional multiplying factor that you will get because of the weight a uh, reading of 1200 grams instead of 1000 gram now he is applying a markup of 30 percent so this 30 percent markup will give him will give him a profit so 30 percent profit means the multiplying factor will be what it would be 13 by 130 by 100 that is 13 by 10 30 percent profit is what Th fraction will be 13 by 10 right this is exactly the same concepts that we have discussed yesterday now the final multiplying factor that you will get in cost price would be 13 by 12 that is the selling price is 13 by 12 of the cost price. Now what is the meaning of selling price given as 13 by 12 of the cost price how do you read this statement? The questions we have discussed many times if your selling price cost 13 by 12 hua, that means selling price is 1 by 12 more than cost price if selling price is 1 by 12 more than cost price the profit percentage would be 8.33 percent okay so both of the methods are applicable in this question anyone having doubt in any of this method please comment otherwise we can move on to the next question all of you have got it yes Vekant, Ajaypal have you got this question have you understood this question right or not okay so let's move on to the next question that is question number 27 just give it a try and then we will discuss the solution The mark price on an article is rupees X. A dealer bought the article at 20% discount. He spends rupees 600 more on the transportation of the product. Thus, he sold the article for rupees X, making 14.28% profit. Find the mark price of the article. What will be the answer of this question? So what will be the answer of this question guys?
So Ajay Pal has given the answer as 8000. Okay, let's see what is the right answer. The mark price of an article is rupees X, right? A dealer bought at bought the article at 20% discount. Now, what is the meaning of this statement? If dealer is purchasing at 20% discount, that means he is purchasing at 80% of X. That means the cost price for the dealer would be 0.8 X, right? So because he is purchasing at 20% of the discount and the mark price is given as X. So therefore the cost price at which the dealer is purchasing the product would be 80% of X. That is 0.8 of X. Now he spends 600 rupees more on the transportation of the product also. That means he will be spending 600 more. So that means the final cost price, right? For the uh, sh uh, dealer would be 0.8x plus 600 because he is also spending 600 rupees on the transportation. So this is the money that the dealer is spending to purchase the product. Now he is selling, he's selling the product at x rupees. Now the selling price is given as x and the profit percentage is given as 14.28%. You just concentrate on this part. What is the meaning of 14.8%? 14.28%. That means he is selling the product at a profit of 1 by 7. Now 1 by 7 profit means what? How will you write down the equation in case of 1 by 7 of profit? In case we profit equation kaise banayenge? That selling price would be equal to 8 by 7 of the cost price. Now, if selling price is 8 by 7 of the cost price and we know that selling price is rupees X and the cost price for the uh, for the dealer is 0.8 X plus 600. Just put the values in this case, right? The selling price would be 8 by 7 of the cost price. You should just know that 1 by 7 profit ka kya meaning hua? 1 by 7 ke profit ke case mein equation kya hai? Selling price is 8 by 7 of the cost price. Just put the value of selling price and put the value of cost price and this is the equation that you will get and you can solve it now to get the answer. Okay, so if I solve this equation that x is given as 8 by 7 of 0.8x plus 60 or plus 600 sorry. So this is a 600. So just solve it now. So you will have 7 by 8 of x is equal to 8 by 10 of x plus 600. Just solve it and you will get the value of X as 8000. Okay. So the value of the mark price of the article would be 8000 rupees. Got it? So if it's anyone is having doubt, you can ask. Let's move to the next question. Question number 28. So what will be the answer of this question? A shopkeeper claims that he sells his goods at a loss of 8%, but actually he uses a weight of 800 gram for 1 kg. Find his profit or loss percentage. Yes, what will be the answer of this question? A shopkeeper claims that he sells his good at a loss, loss of 8% and but actually he uses a weight of 800 gram for 1 kg find his profit or loss percentage. This question can also be solved with two methods. So we will learn both of the methods. One would be the fractional multiplying factor and other one is a normal equation method. So let's first talk about the normal method. Uh, see, uh, shopkeeper is claiming that he is selling the product at a loss of 8%. So this statement the meaning kya hua? Ki agar customer usse 1000 gram ka product lene jata hai, to wo claim kar raha hai ki wo 8% loss pe product ko bech raha hai. So 8% loss means he is selling the product, he is charging the money for 8, 920 grams only. अगर उसको 1000 ग्राम पे 8% का लॉस शो करना है तो 1000 का 8% क्या होता है 80 ग्राम 
so he will be charging for 80 gram less as compared to what he is investing that means he will be charging for 920 gram from the shopkeeper who shopkeeper say uh, customer say 920 grams ke paise lega but actually he is using a weight of 800 gram for 1 kg now what is the meaning of this statement he is actually is using a weight of 800 gram for 1 kg so his actual investment is of 800 gram and the money that he is charging from the customer is of 920 grams. So what is the profit percentage? So this is his investment. That means this is a cost price and this is a selling price. So profit is of what percent? What? How many grams? 120 gram. 120 gram profit over an investment of 800. So what is the profit percentage? You can see this would be the 15% profit. Okay. So 15% profit will be the answer of this question. Let me give you a shortcut approach of this question. Uh, this is a fractional equivalent, uh, fractional method, right, uh, to solve this question. Just understand the meaning of this word. When he claimed that he is selling the product at a loss of 8%. Now, what is the meaning of loss of 8%? That means he is selling the product at 92% of the cost price. So, the first multiplying factor you will get would be 92 by 100. Now, he is using a weight of 800 gram for 1000 uh, gram. Now, what is the meaning of this statement? If shopkeeper use 800 1000 gram, ki jag hai, usko profit hoga ya loss hoga? profit hoga. Kitne ka profit hoga? Uska multiplying factor agar aapko dekhna hai. Now, profit ke case mein aapko pata hona chahiye ki numerator ka value bada hoga, denominator ka chota hoga, right? When you are looking for a multiplying factor to multiply the cost price in case of a profit making event, then the numerator value let's say A and the denominator value is B. If, you, if it is a profit making event, then A would definitely be greater than B. So, if he used 800 gram use kiya 1 kg, ki jagan, that means uska profit making event ka jo multiplying factor aega, that would be 1000 upon 80, right? Uh, 1000 upon 800, sorry. So, so, these are the two multiplying factors that he is getting. Now, you just solve it and you can see that finally it will be cost into uh, just divide it by 4, this would be 23 and this 0 will be cancelled and this would be a 20. So the finally selling price that you are getting, right? So selling price that you are getting is 23 by 20 of the cost price. Now, what is the meaning of this statement? When I say my selling price is 23 by 20 of the cost price, that means it is 3 by 20 more than cost price. If it is 3 by 20 more than cost price, that means this will be profit percentage. What is 1 by 20? 1 by 20 is 5 percent. 3 by 20 would be 15 percent. Okay. So you just have to see whether a particular event is a profit making or loss making. If it is loss making, then the numerator will be less and the denominator will be high. And if it is a profit making, then the numerator will be high and the denominator will be low. That means the fraction should be more than one for profit making and the fraction should be less than one for loss making. So with the fractional method, you can solve it in a one single line. Got it? Anyone having doubt, please comment. Do you want me to repeat this method? Let me explain again. The first is the loss of 8%. That means the first multiplying factor that you will get would be 92 by 100. Now second, you are using a weight of 800 gram for 1000 kg. That means 1000 upon 80 because it is a profit making. So just solve it, right? 800, right? So this will be cancelled. This would be 23. This is 25, right? And uh, 5 into 5, 5 into 2, this will cancel on 4. So finally, the selling price that you are getting is 23 by 20 of the cost price. 23 by 20 of the cost price means it is 3 by 20 more than cost price. If it is 3 by 20 more than cost price, that means the profit percentage is 15%. And this would be the right answer. Got it? Can we move on to the next question? So this is the explanation that if you want to refer to. And now do this question. Use the both method to solve the question. Just don't do it with a single method. Just develop your concepts of solving the question with the multiple methods. Right? This will help you in developing the complete concept about this particular chapter. A trader sells at a markup of 10% and at the same time uses a 1 kg that weighs only 800 grams. Find his profit percentage.
now you can use the direct method to answer this question also let other students also try Yes, Nikhil Manpe, 37.5 is the right answer, I guess. Uh, let's use both of the method. This is the first method that I'm discussing. That he is selling the product at a markup of 10%. So markup of 10% is a profit making event. So the multiplying factor that you will get because of 10% uh, markup would be 11 by 10, right? Now at the same time, uses a 1 kg that weighs only 800 grams. Now, is it a profit making event or loss making event? If he use a 1 kg that weighs only 800 gram, is it profit making or loss making? If a shopkeeper uses a 1 kg that weighs only 800 gram, now tell me is it a profit making or loss making? All other students, what is your answer? So if it is a profit making, then the numerator will be what and the denominator would be what? It should be more than one. So therefore, in the numerator, you will put 1000 gram and in the denominator, you would put 800 gram, right? So now this value will get cancelled. So now the cost price is 11, uh, the selling price is 11 by 8 of the cost price. So if the selling price is 11 by 8 of the cost price. Now, what does this mean? How will you read this statement? that selling price is 3 by 8 more than cost price. If it is 3 by 8 more than cost price, that means the profit percentage would be 37.5%. 1 by 8 is 12.5. So 30, 3 by 8 would be 37.5, right? So only if you know that numerator should be greater than denominator or denominator should be greater than numerator, you can solve, you can solve all these questions in one single equation, okay? The only thing is that you should know how to read the equation. It's not about making the equation, it's about reading the equation, right? Now let's do the second method also. Let this is the second method that he is using a markup of 10% and at the same time uses a 1 kg that weighs only 800 gram. That means agar customer se wo customer ko agar usse 1000 gram per product purchase karne gaya, to usko markup 10% ka markup apply hoga, to that means he has to pay for 1100 gram, right? Wo 1000 gram ke jagah 1100 gram ke paise lega, tabhi 10% ka markup lagega. But actual mein usne weight bhi kitne ka use kiya? He is using a weight of 800 grams only. So now he is using a weight of 800 grams and he is getting the money for 1100 grams. The profit is of 300 gram over an investment of 800 gram. So therefore the profit percentage will be what? It is 3 by 8 in terms of percentage it would be how much? 1 by 8 is 12.5, 3 by 8 would be 37.5%. Okay. So 37.5% profit is the right answer. These are the two methods to discuss this question. Okay, so now this is the explanation that you can refer to after the class. And this is the alternate method of solving this question. The first multiplying factor that you will get would be of 11 by 10. And the second multiplying factor that you will get would be of 5 by 4. Why 5 by 4? Because 1000 upon 800 is a or you can also say that if a shopkeeper is using a 800 gram instead of 1000 gram, this is a profit of how much? This is a profit of 1 by, 5, uh, 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 profit means the multiplying factor would be 5 by 4. That's it. Okay. So you can also do it like this. So final multiplying factor you will get would be 11 by 8. Now what's the meaning of 11 by 8? That selling price is 11 by 8 of the cost price. That means it is 3 by 8 more than cost price. So the profit percentage would be 37.5%. Got it? Next question. Question number 30. Attempt this question guys. A milkman mixes water equal to 8.33% of the milk that he has. Further he sells at a markup of 7.7%. Find his profit percentage if water is available free of cost.
Yes, guys, what will be the answer of this question? Anyone? Ajay Pal, Nikhil, Shrey? What is the answer? What answer is this? Any idea how to do this question? Sixteen point six six. Okay. Anyone else? Fourteen point seven. Okay. Okay. So, which method have you used? All of you, you have used the fraction method or the normal method? Uh, the which one have you used? आप आप लोगों ने कौन सा method use किया? Thirteen by twelve and fourteen by thirteen. Right, this is the right method. See, uh, fractional. Do, दोनों method से आप solve कर सकते हैं. Let's use this method. Uh, first, he is mixing water equal to eight point three three percent of the milk he has. तो अगर वो पानी mix करेगा तो वो profit making होगा या loss making होगा? Profit making, right? This would be a profit making, ना? अगर वो eight point three three percent milk मिल्क में मिल्क का 8.33 परसेंट पानी मिक्स करेगा सेलिंग प्राइस विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टीन बाई ट्वेल्व ऑफ द कोस्ट प्राइस राइट एंड ऑल्सो ही इज सेलिंग एट ए मार्कअप ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट सो सेवन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट का मार्कअप भी उसको प्रॉफिट देगा कितने का प्रॉफिट देगा वन बाई थर्टीन का प्रॉफिट देगा वन बाई थर्टीन का प्रॉफिट का मतलब क्या हुआ दैट ही विल बी सेलिंग द प्रोडक्ट एट फोर्टीन बाई थर्टीन इसको प्रॉफिट मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर क्या आएगा सेवन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट के लिए वन बाई थर्टीन के लिए मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर वुड भी फोर्टीन बाई थर्टीन और थर्टीन एंड थर्टीन विल गेट कैंसल आउट एंड द सेलिंग प्राइस वुड बी कॉस्ट इन टू फोर्टीन बाई ट्वेल्व एंड दैट इज सेवन बाई सिक्स So it would be 16.67 percent. Okay, so 16.67 is the right answer. Anyone having doubt, please ask. Let's use the second method also. Ajay Pal, is it clear to uh, clear to you? You have got the answer as 14.7. Uh, with fractional method, the answer would be 16.67, and this is the right answer to this question. Okay. Uh, do you want me to discuss the second method also? Okay, uh, let's discuss it with the second method also. Okay, so here is the explanation. When he is saying that he is mixing 8.33 percent of the total milk that he has. Now 8.33 percent in terms of fraction we know is 1 by 12. So just to make our calculation easy, what we will do is let's assume the milk quantity initially that you have is of 12 liter. Okay, हम मान लेते हैं कि 12 लीटर का मिल्क इनिशियली उसके पास है. अब उसने इसका 1 बाई ट्वेल्व पानी ऐड किया तो 12 का 1 बाई ट्वेल्व कितना पार्ट होगा 1 लीटर तो 12 लीटर दूध के अंदर 1 लीटर पानी ऐड हुआ तो टोटल मिक्सचर वुड नाउ बी ऑफ हाउ मच इट वुड बी 13 लीटर सो अभी नाउ टोटल मिक्सचर इज 13 लीटर एंड दिस 13 लीटर इज हिज टोटल क्वांटिटी दैट ही वांट टू सेल एंड ही इज सेलिंग एट ए मार्कअप ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट सेवन सो सेवन पॉइंट सेवन का मार्कअप मीन्स ही विल बी चार्जिंग फोर्टीन बाई थर्टीन ऑफ द कोस्ट प्राइस Uh, and the cost price that he is showing is 13 so apply the multiplying factor of 14 by 13 and finally that means you will get that he is charging for 14 liter okay 7.7% profit means a uh, markup is 1 by 13 ka markup 1 by 13 ka markup matlab aap 14 by 13 pe sell karoge cost price ke so that means 13 liter ke liye aap 14 liter ka charge karoge so aapka investment tha 12 liter ka और आपने कस्टमर से फाइनली पैसा लिया 14 लीटर का तो दो लीटर का प्रॉफिट हुआ 12 की इन्वेस्टमेंट में विच इज वन बाई सिक्स 
so that is 16.67 percent right got it i have sabko samajh you should know both of the method to solve if you have any problem in any of this method please do let me know we can discuss it again there is no issue यस अजय निखिल बहुत ऑफ द मेथड आर क्लियर फ्रैक्शन से तो आप लोगों ने सॉल्व कर ही लिया था तो सेकंड वाला मेथड क्लियर हुआ या नहीं कौन का इज रिप्लाई okay so let's move to the next question uh, this is the fractal method right the first multiplying factor would be of 13 by 12 and the second multiplying factor would be 14 by 13 so 13 and 13 will get cancelled and the selling price would be 7 by 6 of course price that means you will have a profit of 16.67% do this question guys question number 31 now this is a very very important question give it a try a shopkeeper is selling at a 16.67% higher rate as compared to the rate of purchase but he is able to make a profit of only 6.67% due to his faulty balance what will be the reading shown on the balance when goods weighing 1 kg are kept on the balance give it a try guys this uh, try karo fir hum isko discuss karte hain
yes ajay what is wrong okay let me uh, let let let's discuss the solution of this question the, again this can be uh, discussed with two different methods uh, so i will be using the fractional method to solve this see when uh, it is given that a shopkeeper is selling at a 16.67% higher rate as compared to the rate of purchase selling at 16.67% higher rate now agar wo 16.67% higher rate pe sell karega to profit hoga ya loss hoga profit hoga kitne ka profit fraction ke down mein 1 by 6 ka profit so you will say your selling price would be 7 by 6 of the cost price right and uh it is given that he is able to make only 6.67% due to his faulty balance now we do not know what is the fault in the weight and what will be the if you do not know what is the fault in the weight then you do not know what will be the fractional multiplying factor due to the faulty balance so let's say it is x upon y right now this overall these two activities are giving him at profit of 6.67% now what is the meaning of profit of 6.67% that selling price is a uh, 6.67% in terms of fraction is what it is 1 by 15 right so if if the profit is 1 by 15 selling price would be 16 by 15 of the cost price now this is also selling price and this is also selling price now this selling price is because of two factor one is 16.67% higher rate and the faulty balance so this overall selling price will be same as this price right because we are talking about the same product now just solve it now c and c will get cancelled and the value of x upon y will be 16 upon 15 uh into 6 by 7 that that is 3 into 2 6 3 into 5 is 15 so you x upon y is 32 by 35 now what is the meaning of this statement x upon y is 32 by 35 it means uh, is it a profit making or loss making this is obviously loss making that's why his profit is getting down from 16.67 to 6.67 right but how will you read this when the faulty balance fraction is 32 by 35 how will you read this it means if the goods are uh, if the way if the goods that are placed on the weighing machine are of 35 g the reading that you are getting is only of 32 g 35 ग्राम गुड्स की रीडिंग जब 32 ग्राम की आएगी तभी आपका फ्रैक्शनल मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर लॉस मेकिंग होगा और दैट वुड बी 32 अपॉन 35 अभी क्वेश्चन में पूछा है कि 1 kg अगर वेट पड़ा हो तो उसका रीडिंग कितना आएगा 35 ग्राम का रीडिंग है 32 ग्राम 1 ग्राम का रीडिंग वुड बी 32 बाय 35 और 1000 ग्राम का रीडिंग देखना हो तो जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई इट विद 1000 सो 32 बाय 35 इनटू 1000 इज द राइट आंसर नाउ व्हाट इज दिस a uh, value if you solve it 32 by 35 into 1000 this would be 7 and this would be 200 so uh sorry 5 into 7 35 this is 200 32 into 200 is what this is 6400 upon 7 now 6400 upon 7 is what 7 into 9 63 1 right and then 914.28 is the right answer okay so this is uh, the answer 1914.28 gram is the right answer yeah ajay pal you have got it right answer so if you have any uh, problem with the concept please do let me know sabko samajh aa gaya anyone having doubt can ask or we can move on to the next question yes ajay shrey is it right sabko samajh aa gaya nikhil okay let's move to the next question right so do not forget the fractional method okay so this is the best method to solve many questions of profit and loss okay please keep it in mind and these questions also a very very important question
very good ajay pal 50% is the right answer let me give the explanation the math meter scales to measure the loss expand by 20% in the summers now uh, is it profit making or loss making yeah nikhil shrey can you give me the answer the extension of meter scales to measure the cloth expands by 20% so is it profit making for the shopkeeper or loss making for the shopkeeper yes nikhil what is your answer is it profit making or loss making loss making very good so now if you know it is loss making then you there is nothing left in the question see uh 20% extension in the meter scales will be a loss making event for the shopkeeper so 20% loss means the selling price would be uh, uh, now here one more important thing that you are supposed to know is that when i say that 20% is a loss making how how would be a loss making but it would not be a 20% loss making okay let me explain you here See, if hundred, if you if you went to the shopkeeper, अगर आप shopkeeper के पास जाओ, hundred meter की जगह है, उसका जो scale होगा, वो कितना meter कपड़ा measure करके देगा? One twenty meter. जो scale पहले hundred meter कपड़ा measure करता था, अभी वो one twenty meter का कपड़े को hundred meter की reading show करेगा, right? This is the meaning of extension of scale. Okay, that. If you go to the shopkeeper and ask him to give you a hundred meter clause, he will charge you for hundred meter, but the clause that you will be getting would be a one twenty meter. जो meter scale पहले hundred meter clause को measure कर रहा था, now that would be uh, measuring one twenty meter. So that means there is a loss of twenty meter for the shopkeeper over an investment of one twenty, not of hundred. उसकी actual जेब से कितना गया? 120 मीटर तो 1 by 6 का लॉस हुआ 1 by 6 का लॉस मतलब फ्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर क्या आएगा सेलिंग प्राइस वुड बी 5 by 6 ऑफ द कॉस्ट प्राइस नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट राइट सम ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स लुकिंग एट इट दैट 20% स्केल एक्सटेंशन विल टेक द मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर एज 4 by 5 बट दैट देन अगेन यू विल गेट द आंसर रॉन्ग 20% स्केल एक्सटेंशन विल गिव यू द लॉस ऑफ 1 by 6 दैट इज 16.67 हाउ बिकॉज़ शॉपकीपर आपसे 100 मीटर के पैसे चार्ज करेगा और उसकी जेब से 120 मीटर का कपड़ा जाएगा राइट तो 20 मीटर का लॉस हुआ और शॉपकीपर का इन्वेस्टमेंट कितने का हुआ 120 मीटर का तो 1 बाई सिक्स दैट इज 16.67 परसेंट का लॉस विच इज 1 बाई सिक्स राइट सो 20 परसेंट स्केल एक्सटेंशन विल गिव यू लॉस ऑफ वन बाई सिक्स सो सेलिंग प्राइस वुड बी फाइव बाई सिक्स ऑफ द कॉस्ट प्राइस Now it is given that what should be the markup ऑन द क्लॉथ बाई द शॉपकीपर सो दैट इवन आफ्टर गिविंग अ डिस्काउंट ऑफ टेन The shopkeeper earns a profit of 12.5 percent. Now uh, he is giving a discount of 10 percent on the mark price. Now what does it mean? The meaning of this statement is that you will get the product at 9 by 10 of the mark price. So the multiplying factor for a discount of 10 percent would be 9 by 10. Now we are supposed to apply the markup in such a way that uh, he get A profit of 12.5 percent. So let's say the fraction for the marker price is x upon y, and that is equal to now this final multiplying factor. The final product of these three multiplying factor should give you a profit of 12.5. 12.5 percent profit means profit of 1 by 8. That means this value should result into 9 by 8 of the cost price. 12.5 percent का तो तभी profit होगा जब selling price 9 by 8 of cost price होगा, right? So अभी देखो 9 से 9 कैंसिल 5 10 को 2 पे कैंसिल किया तो आपका और कॉस्ट प्राइस से ये कॉस्ट प्राइस कैंसिल हुआ तो x अपॉन y विल बी इक्वल टू 12 अपॉन 8 दैट नाउ व्हाट इज दिस x अपॉन y दिस इज द फ्रैक्शनल मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर फॉर द मार्कअप एंड 12 अपॉन 8 इज व्हाट 3 बाय 2 सो 3 बाय 2 का फैक्टर आपको कब मिलेगा 3 बाय 2 का 3 बाय 2 के फैक्टर का मीनिंग क्या हुआ That your markup is 50% higher than the cost price, right? 3 by 2 means what? 1 by 2 more than cost price. That is 50% markup. 3 by 2 is what? 1.5. That is 150%. 150% ka meaning kya hua ki apne markup kitne ka rakha? 50% ka. Got it? Is it clear to all of you? And there is also one alternate method of solving this question. Let me explain you that method also.
Okay, so let's discuss a second method also. So uh, Ajay Pal, uh, you have done this question with which method? Uh, fractional method or the normal method? Ajay Pal, you have got it. Got the answer. Uh, your, your answer is right. So, आपने कौन सा method use किया? Fraction या normal? Equation method use किया या फिर a fractional method use किया? So let me uh, discuss this question with the second method also. That the meter scales to measure the close expand by 20% in the summers. What does it mean? Okay, so let's discuss the second method also. कि अगर 100 meter की reading 120 meter की आ रही है, इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि shopkeeper से कितने meter का shopkeeper के लिए cost price क्या हुआ? 120 meter. Because actual में उसके pocket से 120 meter cloth कप जो होगा क्लोथ जाएगा राइट बिकॉज़ 20% का मीटर स्केल एक्सटेंशन हो चुका है नाउ क्वेश्चन इज कि उसका प्रॉफिट फाइनल आपको 12.5% चाहिए अगर 120 मीटर पे मुझे 12.5% का प्रॉफिट चाहिए दैट इज 1/8 सो 120 का 1/8 कितना होगा 120 का 1/8 वुड बी 15 मीटर तो फाइनली मेरा जो सेलिंग प्राइस होना चाहिए दैट शुड बी ऑफ 135 मीटर राइट right? मेरा जो सेलिंग प्राइस होना चाहिए वो 135 मीटर होगा तभी मुझे 15 मीटर का प्रॉफिट मिलेगा 120 पे एंड दैट इज अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ 1 बाय 8 व्हिच इज ऑफ 12.5% नाउ अगर मुझे 30 135 का सेलिंग प्राइस लाना है और डिस्काउंट कितना देना है मुझे 10% का सो so, 10% का डिस्काउंट मतलब मुझे मार्क प्राइस के 90% पे प्रोडक्ट बेचना है मतलब 9 बाय 10 पे प्रोडक्ट बेचना है एंड दैट 9 बाय 10 शुड बी इक्वल टू 135 तो ये कितना हुआ दिस इज मार्क प्राइस इज इक्वल टू 150 Right, so now you can see that I will have to the apply the markup of 50 percent, right? Because जब 100 मीटर कोई मुझसे लेने आएगा, अगर मैं उससे 150 मीटर का कपड़ा 150 मीटर के पैसे चार्ज करूँगा, that means 50 percent markup लगा के चार्ज करूँगा, तो 150 की जगह 150 पे 10 percent का discount देके मुझे finally पैसे मिलेंगे 135 के, और actually मेरी जेब से जाएगा 120 मीटर, तो मेरा final profit percentage कहाँ बैठेगा? 12.5 percent. Got it? So this is also one method of solving this question. Is it clear to all of you? 100 rupees ke product ka 150 ka matlab kya hua? Agar 150, 100 rupees ke 100 meter ke kapde pe 150 meter ke kapde ka charge karna means 50 percent ka markup apply karna. Got it? Anyone having doubt in this method can ask your doubts in the comment section. All right, so you should know both of the method. Okay, this is the second method of multiplying factor that the 20% scale extension will be equal to the loss of 16.67. So the first multiplying factor would be 5 by 6 and then a discount of 10% will decrease my profit by 10%. So it will be a loss making for 10%. So the multiplying factor would be 9 by 10. और मार्कअप का मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर तो दैट मींस वो मुझे निकालना ही है x by 5 और इन तीनों का फाइनल जो आना चाहिए वो 12.5 प्रॉफिट के इक्वल आना चाहिए दैट मींस इन तीनों का प्रोडक्ट 9 by 8 ऑफ कॉस्ट प्राइस होना चाहिए सो दैट मींस x upon y की वैल्यू 3 by 2 दैट इज 50% मोर देन द नॉर्मल सो 50% इज द आंसर यस श्री व्हिच मेथड यू वांट मी टू रिपीट ओके द प्रीवियस वन लेट मी शो यू दिस मेथड अगेन अह Just give me a minute. Just understand the concept that there is an extension of 20% in the meter scale. So, if a shopkeeper has 100 meters, then in actual, he will charge 100 meters. But the product is not the customer, the shopkeeper, the shopkeeper's investment is 120 meters. Now he want to give a discount of 10% and want to earn the profit of 12.5%. अभी उसकी जेब से 120 मीटर का कपड़ा गया. That means this is his investment. This is the cost price for the shopkeeper. तो अगर उसको 12.5% का profit earn करना है, तो बताओ 120 मीटर के पे 12.5% का profit मतलब आपको 135 मीटर के कपड़े के पैसे मिलने चाहिए. 12.5% is 1 by 8. 
डिस्काउंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट सो दस परसेंट के डिस्काउंट के बाद आपको एक सौ पैंतीस मीटर के पैसे कम मिलेंगे जब आप दस परसेंट का डिस्काउंट मार्क प्राइस पे लगाओगे दैट मीन नाइन बाई टेन ऑफ द मार्क प्राइस will be equal to 135 so mark price will be equal to 135 into 10 upon 9 that is 15 into 10 that is 150 meter okay so finally jo mark price mujhe chahiye wo 150 meter ka chahiye aur product kitna hai mera 100 meter right jo mujhe uh, customer ko show karna hai to 100 meter ki jagah agar mujhe 150 meter ka kapde ka paisa charge karna hai to mark up kitne ka apply hua 50% ka right got it Ajapal, uh, these videos, uh, these questions are available on my profile on Anak Academy, right? I'm sorry, I cannot share the PDF file here. I guess I, I am not allowed to do that. Uh, but otherwise, uh, the PDF files are shared on the Plus uh, courses. And also, uh, uh, if you want to revise these questions, uh, you can download the slides. You can download my presentation on my uh, on the Anak Academy Learning app. I have recorded a complete. course on profit and loss the course name is same that is uh, arithmetic without formulas profit and loss and there are around 20 lessons and you can download all the slides of these questions on the an academy learning app so if you want to download it uh, in a pdf format or in a, a presentation format you can download it through my profile on an academy okay otherwise you can revise it from there also all right guys thank you so much for joining the session uh, let's end the session here there was there are some two more two three more question that i was wanted to discuss but again uh, we will discuss in the, discuss it in the next session so tomorrow we will start with the simple interest and compound interest that is third chapter of arithmetic without formulas i uh, wish you all the best good night and thank you so much for joining the session and once again i want to let you know about the uh, plus courses that we have on an academy where you can have 30 hours live classes of top educator i am also taking classes over there in the morning from 9 to 10:30 and 11 to 12:30 some very very important courses are uh, live on the plus an academy uh, some of my name of those, some of my courses are comprehensive course on quantitative aptitude variable course on quantitative aptitude where i am discussing 100 point questions and there is a variable course on dilr where i am discussing 15 most important and advanced level data interpretation sets so if you want to watch those courses you can join the an academy plus all right thank you so much for joining this session see you tomorrow at the same time thank you good night ajay pal